Wednesday, the EX Trick crew is always hanging out with the moguls and upcomers of the industry. And this Wednesday, we were with Baba Keke of Kenny's Music, who was hosted by the Industry Night. It was a star-studded event. Before the show proper began, there was a moment of truth where Baba Keke's record label signees and friends like partner D1, DJ Jimmy Jazz, Terry G, and Mr. Olisa Adibwa of Beat FM all said what they felt about him. It was good to meet people who felt the same way I did about entertainment, about music, about the pride and joy about what we had in Nigeria. And we all went on that journey. And when I first started, and I know the same thing happened with Kenny D1, people used to ask, why are you guys doing this music thing? Why are you guys in entertainment? Because we believe that Nigeria had something to offer. Nigeria was the best place to be if you want to be an entertainer. I know that on the on the I mean where you know, should I say that? Where are all the Jebus? <laughs> I know that so well. As as people, they're wonderful people. They're wonderful people. They, they support, they help unconditionally. Thank you, my friends. Thank you, everyone. And of course, remember, what we started is just it was it started like play like play, but now you don't be throwing like this way. <laughs> There was even a message from Two Face for Baba K. After the emotional moment, the show began with performances by Joel. Even Idris Abdul Karim, who after his outburst and stage about the government, transferred that same aggression to his performance. The food don't know, everybody got his food. And they are not to be food. I mean, they are not to be food. When they cook you food, they don't know. Hold on. Everybody did not know. Believe say the world from Sunday America. Today, Baba Kekeke don't create employment for federal government. Meanwhile, when these things they happen, maybe some of us are gone for the take play now. <laughs> you know that guy is kidnapped for everywhere. But today, the market has made our life to be very, very fulfilled and successful. Without me, this industry don't no get respect. Even though we will be able to play with 50 cents. With the start of the rest, respect and jobs. <laughs> you gave me an opportunity for the president to talk back at me. Who am I? Papa Sonjo made me a superstar. Wait till Papa Sonjo do do it. Wait till they call the name. I think we are Papa Kano. Now you don't have to do it now. Baba Keke himself and D1, his partner and bestie, before they left for the after party at DBA. It feels good to be recognized, most importantly, when you are still alive. God forbid, one being gone, you will see so many superstars coming out with dark sunshades, the best designer suits, black on black, but we thank God that's not happening. We are alive, we're being celebrated, we thank God. It's a, it's a good feeling, especially when you are in the industry, there's competition. 
industry that is so tight, you know, you don't know who's looking after who. And then now everybody now said, okay, you know what, let's celebrate these guys. So it feels good to be celebrated. It's a honor. It, 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 one is just too, too grateful, too humble. I mean, you guys are just far too kind for this uh, honor. You guys introduce yourself on radio. And this is world famous. <laughs> United Nations Ambassador for Youth and Peace. Woo! Pretty super much, uh, one and only. Yes. Two bros don't bear ego. <laughs> <laughs> World famous Dio D1 Adinaya. That's some hype, huh? <laughs> Baba Kex has been your friend from way back. We heard stories, we read books that you guys were in Yankee. We went to school together, the same school with PDD. You came back, AIT Jams, transformed into this, into that. You signed the biggest artist, Two Face. African Pen came out of your stable. And all of that, 2013 again. <laughs> you personally, how have you been able to keep the friendship? To get there. The secret is um, we were friends before we became partners. I mean, we went to the same classes for four years. We graduated on the same day. For masters, we were driving, you know, 100 miles to class every night. We graduated on the same day for our masters as well. And we became roommates. So when you're friends and you're going in the same direction, it's easy, you know, to make the journey together. So. Um, two Jebu boys out in Yankee looking to make something happen. With nobody around, you just have to stick together to survive. And that extended in our coming back to Nigeria with a big, big thank you to Dr. Raymond Dokwesi for prodding us to come back to Nigeria and come and, you know, make our own contribution. And um, we thank Nigerians, we thank Africans for embracing the idea that, you know, look, Nigerian music in cell. Nigerian culture can be propagated. Right. And today, you know, um, Two Face, The Band, J1, P Square, they're being played at anywhere, in, you know, from the Olympics to wherever, you know, and um, it's a good feeling. It makes one very, very proud, you know, to have been part of that process. It was fun hanging out with real people like the Kenny's Music Fan.